Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battle Brothers. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as uh, we leave Hal Hasif to the cities to the south. We sold a lot of stuff, and uh, we have new people in our team. Uh, not from here, that's not how you see that. This is how you see that. And uh, we're ready to, well, fi finish our arena thingy. That's really my priority right now, uh, because, well... I, I, I might not want to stick down here for the foreseeable future. I might want to keep, uh, or I might, I might want to uh, ex go in expeditions to the north uh, because we need bows. <laughs> we need people who can actually shoot uh, because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's tricky fighting with only melee. It's really tricky. It's obvious that this, this area is, is balanced for that, but still. Speaking of balanced, oh yeah, that's, we're not doing that mission right there. Uh, these people are very upset because of that mission. Disappearing villagers, they are going to continue disappeared forever. Because we're not doing that, but we are doing the arena. What do you mean you don't understand? It's just a squiggly line. No, look, this is its sta- What is going on? A grizzled man, the massive arena, holds up a scroll. Right, 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 right. Because of- yeah. Serpents were, were fighting. The alchemists like to call them, but if I wanted to draw a serpent, I'd just draw an alchemist. Ha 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 ha. He, we expected important guests to this bout, so everything is set up for you to die proper bloody this time. You got it? Uh, no, it isn't. I want to hear the crowd chant our names. And uh, that's actually a lot of money. 830. I like that. Uh, and for what uh, hopefully is going to be an easy victory. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely fair enough. I say hopefully because... Well, it's serpents, and, uh, I don't know. Cleaners hurry about the arena. They drag away the bodies, collect what's worth collecting, and occasionally throw a trophy into the crowd, eliciting a mob-like rendition of the arena's battles in the stands themselves. The Sinners of the Sword is now a part of this affair, and uh, we're going to hopefully not be giving any of our equipment to the, the people up there. Okay, so... Let's let them do their thing. It's only three of them. They use four action points. They use four action points to pull us. Unfortunately for, uh, for them... Hmm... Fanny's is feeling better, so that's good news. That's really good news, actually. Otherwise, he would, he'd be disabled, basically. Half of his uh, fatigue would have been gone. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I want to focus on this one. 92. Very nice. People are very happy about that. 61. Very, very happy about that. I am as well. 95. Not a kill. Okay. That's a little bit of damage. I didn't like that. That's pretty good. Um, okay. So you can stun them. Oh, no, we don't need to stun them. They both acted already. Okay. And they go first. That is a sh uh, shield hit. Who goes next is it's you. It tends to be the most injured that go second because they're, you know, they get special conditions and whatnot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Arena Master is waiting for you. That was a mighty fine show, Crownling. Would not mind it in the slightest if you come back again. And we got Gladiator... Uh, uh, we got a Gladiator Harness. How did you get so good? You turn to see a boy nervously staring at you, smiling. You give him the truth. When I was your age, I was killing men my age. I mean... R not your age. I know it's confusing, but I was killing older people. It's fine, whatever. It's killing a lot of people. Greening back, he asks if he works on. Uh, is that, he asks if he works on it. Can he be like you? Nodding, you answer. You can't. Th you can't know until you try, kid. Now go on home. The boy brandishes a butter knife and fiendishly turns and sprints away. He's a good lad. I doubt it. I seriously do doubt it. But off goes the kid, 
and uh, we we're just injured again. But that's just how it goes. We also got another one of these, which is pretty good. And that is actually a good I uh, it's a good opportunity. Let's see. Control right click. For me, it's a good opportunity for me to see the naked bodies of all my battle brothers. But more importantly, to give them proper equipment and equipment that matches in what uh, and matches in that sort of stuff. So, Ali over here, I want him flanking. The problem with that is that it does require him to be on the outsides. Uh, but it also requires him to have spear users. Ooh, I used to do something. Uh, I sort them by, by their skill. 87 is brutal. <laughs> 65, 66, 82, and 55. 49, 57. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, so I sort them by their skills so I can have a better understanding of, um, you know, where my strengths and my weaknesses are. So we got a, a couple of reasonable, Fanny's the Cat and Bernard the Scholar, reasonable spearmen, so I can leave them on the outsides. And if I put you over there, I think that's a good balancing act. Because, you know, 82 melee skill is brutal. And uh, and over here, we got... Yeah, so that's pretty good. Then, what I end up doing as well, is I give armor, the best armor, to my best men. So, we have 100 there. We have uh, the gladiator harness over here. Uh, honestly, the gladi gladiator harness should be for you, because you don't have a shield. Uh, but... Uh, I don't know if I should do that. That is a good strategy. But anyway, I think I think that's good enough. Um, let's see. So you're the best, so you get the one that looks ugliest. And you're the second best, so you get the ones that look sort of like each other. There we go. So Fanny st stays on the side, and we have Brian the lion. Oh, that sound, that's pretty cool. Um, with a mace. Now, the mace is very important, because the mace disables enemies, and that is very important. Uh, Sakreen over here is a very good damage dealer. So I would guess this is a good combination. And look at that, spears. Isn't that lovely? Now this sword is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. The sword is pretty nice. But what you really want is you want a pickaxe. Because you want to disable armor. You want to be able to break their armor in the face and, uh, and not have to worry about things. Soundtrack is like on point right, right now. Okay, so let's see if we have shields for everybody that looks look the same. We do indeed. Fantastic. Uh, and now for helmets. Now we got all the helmets as well as they could be. This is a very good armor, but no, we're not going to worry about uh, helmets right now. We're going to worry about armor. So we got 50, 30, 75, 100s, and 95s. Okay, so these are 100s. So that would be for main guys and uh, then everybody else gets the second best 65 75 and 95 so you get that and there's a two naked two still naked people 65s and 75s that's good enough oh no there's you still here get you that, and uh, let's see what I am going to give you, 30s, 50s, there we go, a thick nomad robe, good stuff, and then helmets, now, that barely makes a difference, these ones over here, but admittedly, uh, these ones are better, because it's plus one, uh, it's plus one stamina, so we're going to try to get them as much as I can, uh, actually, you know what? Give me that. You need this as well. There we go. Helmets for everybody. And I don't think I'm missing it. No, I'm missing you back here. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a little bit better, and I have a better understanding of what my team has and what they can do. You're very unhappy, Rukutu. Why are you unhappy? What happened? Uh, you need booze, don't you? They always need booze. We can't go into the arena again. And we can't fight. The prices... Still terrible, including the weapons. 
food. We're going to need to buy something better elsewhere. Yeah. Just need to go. Okay. This is going to increase our renown. And hopefully unlock better contracts. So let's see what happens. Because the moment we leave, it actually triggers that. Or there's a chance for it to trigger the realization that we have concluded our... I don't know if there's a chance or if it's a certain times a day. It might be a certain times a day. I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little while. It might be a dawn. It is not a dawn. Is it a midday? Because I know it's a midday that the pay gets made. We've got some animals going around. Midday. No pay, though, so... Hmm. That's a bit of a, a bummer. What do we have? Oh, it's this is good. Let's talk money. 550. Can you give me? No, you can't give me more. What is it? Deliver a cargo in Tandorf, about a day to the northeast by road. Y you know what? I probably will do that. I probably will. The prices here are terrible. Except for rice. Good. Oh, and tools. They're not awful to price for tools. So I'll buy some of them because we really want to have some of them. And the prices for medical supplies are bad. We have a reasonable bow over there. We might be able to get better armor. Well, we need better armor for sure. Southern mail shirt. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's get some helmets as well. It actually reduces vision, which is fine for frontliners, but they're very expensive. So do I want that? I might want that. 75. Want that more. I'll buy that as well. Uh, I could have, could have gotten an archer, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna accept this mission. I think that's a good decision here. What is happening? Local holiday. A local holiday has the people in a generous mood. That's why food is cheap, potentially. Uh, let's see. So what I'm concerned about now is that there's people with really bad armor at the front. And of course, this also means that, uh, so you're pretty good. You're going to get this thing. This armor is not as good as that, though. No, no. Oh, yeah, you keep that. It's fine. As for helmets, you get that. And we get this. And then you definitely have that. These are not as good as these. The difference isn't tr tremendous. But you're definitely going to get that. Let's press tab. Uh, it's a 95. It's a mismatched team. But everybody at the front has reasonable armor. So that's not too bad at all. That's not too bad at all. I like that. Okay. And everybody isn't happy. So I can pay them booze if there's a tavern around. There is not a tavern around. This is uh, that's a... That's a problem. That everybody isn't happy. I have the mission. Let's go to Tanor. Oh. Okay. That's just a little bit of land. Tenorf, where is it? It is all the way over there. It's fine enough with me. Ooh. I think it's fine enough with me. Because my idea now is to get into as many fights as I can. Of course, going through the road, we need to look into people trying to attack these caravans and whatnot. And, uh... The money was just paid. We still have not finished that, which we should. Because we can cancel the ambition by clicking it, but I don't want to do that, obviously. So everybody is feeling the weight of um, of being on the road, basically. And that is not great. I don't know what that would be. Could have been bandits. Going to cities is also a good thing. Our battle brothers tend to appreciate that. So those guys are going off killing somebody. Let's go to Wolf and Festy over here. Say hi to everybody over here. We have a, a tavern. That's good news. Pay around. Absolutely. Uh, and also, this is pretty interesting. Let's do that as well. So nobody's drunk. That's good news. Let's pay. Came across Stirring Crypt on the way here. Why? It's on the plains of the east. Someone should hire you to burn that thing to the ground. Nothing's, nothing good's coming from there. So on the plains to the east, there is a crypt. We might actually see it. I doubt it, but we might see it.
It's nighttime, that's why we're not gonna see it. And I think it's over here. So that that is one way of um, of gaining gaining experience is actually going into the wilderness, or rather, it's paying money to for, to the bartender, and then going to the wilderness to uh, to get some kills. So let's engage these bandits. Oh, this is a beautiful starting point. I love it. They are not gonna love it at all. That is awesome. So what do I want to do? Do I stay in, on the ground here? Because they're all going to swarm us over here. Hmm. Yeah. They want to come down here. Some of them. More than others. I could hide in there. I don't know that they can see me if I stay in there, uh, but I'm not going to go up there. I'm just going to try to keep things under control, and a spear wall would uh, would definitely be good here, but I'm not going to do that. So they're trying to attack the ones that are under, uh, sort of, on the lower floor. So we do this. You can't do anything. You stay where you are. Uh, you do, don't, yeah, don't do spear walls. Although this one might help. That's definitely going to force them not to come back here. So you're staying over here, and you're going to be attacked. Shield wall. And you can stay where you are. Interesting. They're using half their turn on purpose to force us to break our shield, uh, spill all the things that we set up and stuff. Uh, let's let them do their thing. Uh, that spear wall is going to force them over here, which is good. Hmm. That is not good. Okay. That's reasonable. Uh, you're staying up there, right? Hmm. I think you're, you're stealthing there, hidden, yeah. So now I say hi to this guy. 95%. Fanius. Ha! Ah, lucky him. Unlucky. Matt Larkin. Uh, 63. That's two misses. Very unfortunate. So we're not going to do spear walls there. That's a miss again. Um, let's do a shield wall here. And you need to attack. 63. That's actually two hits. Very nice. Uh, you stay there. And you maybe get attacked, but let's let you do your thing. They knew. They knew. That's... I don't like it. 60... Uh, no, let's wait. You know, let's wait and see if they show up. I need somebody down there. Uh, 71. Oh, man. Two misses on the 71. Jeez, my god, the RNG. Okay, um, let's see. 95. That's unfortunate for you. That is a hit. That is fortunate for me. Okay, that's reasonable. Okay, that's interesting. So how do I want to do this? 57. Uh, you probably are going to go down there, but let's wait. Uh, you get a stun... And you get a stun. Did you get hit yet? You got hit now. Uh, and you get a stab. There we go. It's bad news. That's a flail. 57 head off. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and I'm going to try and scare you. I did not scare you. I did now. And uh, that means I can go down there. And everybody is engaged. So... Very good. Hmm. Because I can go over there and... I, hmm. 55. Scare them both, please. Now they're scared. Uh, let's try and kill you here. 
and then you're scared as well. And you can stay up there. Uh, you can stay up there as well. Can't do better than that. <laughs> you're too tired. You're not even moving. Run them down. Ilya's landing some hits. Good stuff. Fair enough. So we got two level ups. We have a little bit of damage on Ali, but apart from that, it's only the durability of our weapons that takes a hit. Ah, uh, and now we're getting the good shields. So these are better than this. They're just, they're just flat out better. These ones last a little longer, but they don't last too long at the hands of, of a two-handed axe, so it, it's not like it matters too much. We got some better armor. So yeah, these shields are something to hang on to, because, I mean, they're just better than these round shields. Um, the bludgeon. Oh, that's a reinforced wooden flail, so it's a nor not a normal flail. Or rather, it is the lowest kind of flail. I think it is the lowest kind of flail. I'm not sure if there's a better one. I think there isn't. Or a, a worse one, I should say. There's definitely a better one. The, the ones that we fought against already. The one that has three heads. That's a, that's an actual weapon that we can buy. It's not, like, unique or anything. I thought at, at first that it might have been unique when I saw it for the first time. Um, so we are going to want... every defense for you. Because you're going to be a two-handed weaponer. Two-handed weaponer. That's how that works. For sure. Uh, and let's see, everybody has their armor, so I might want to fix this, or I might want to just hang out. Ooh, look at this helmet. It's better than the other stuff that I have. I did not know that. Really? A full leather cap is better. Is better. It's 45. Okay. Then the short swords, they're probably worth repairing. These, not so much. The shields, I'm just going to sell. The spears, probably not worth repairing, but we use them. So... Is that correct? One, two, three. Yeah, we have three non-spear wielders. That is correct. Uh, and then over here, Matt Larkin getting his uh, learning on. Very nice level up. Very, very nice level up. Uh, oof, man, that is, that is a good level up right there. I'm gonna go with melee defense instead of resolve. Probably want a five resolve. I don't know if it is possible to get a five resolve uh, on a plus two stars. I'm not actually sure about the uh, the, the calculations because there's calculations that you have to make. So we got a little bit of money out of, out of that, but really it's the experience that counts. And uh, yeah, I, I am concerned about the fact that uh, nobody seems interested in the fact that I won arena battles. Let's see. Do you like me, everybody? You have food. That is good, because I want to buy that. I'll buy the grain, because it's the cheapest. Uh, so their prices are bad. Right? No, they're not. Their prices are really good. Why? Why do they like me so much? I mean, I have to capitalize on that, right? That's good enough to keep around. Is it because... Mm, wait a minute. Because there's a building re uh, effort. Or rebuilding effort. And we have an armorer. Who also has cheap money. Cheap prices. Uh, most likely. Yeah, pretty decent. And of course taxidermist that doesn't have anything for us. It's good to be there. It's a good city. I hope that they like us in the future, because that having, having an armorer there and making some missions for them, uh, that can uh, that can be game-changing, honestly. So we got some brigands up ahead again. And we're going after them, obviously. Fighting them in the moors. Or, I'm not sure it's moors here. I don't know what moors mean. Um, okay. I like this.
I like this setup. It's not ideal. But what is? Look at that guy trying to claim that as much as soon as I as he, he can. You see that? They do that on purpose. Yeah, they're definitely trying to take that that hill. Uh, they do that on purpose because they they lose their heads. Uh, they do that on purpose because they um, they know that it's not a good decision. It's not a good tactical decision to to end your turn next to an enemy. Or uh, I mean, it's not that being next to an enemy is a problem. It's just that. Um, hmm. Send you over there. Yeah, let's do this, this instead. It's just that uh, it, it is wasteful. Well, it's not necessarily wasteful. You're just exposing yourself. It's, it's it's not a good idea. They'd never do it themselves. You'll notice this happens time and again. If you have a line of enemies, or if you have a, a line of your own people, and they, they're like four, four squ squares away or X's away, which is a, as much as they can move in a single turn, they will move three uh, three axes or even two axes sometimes, depending on what type of weapon they have. But they will de consistently move three axes because that uh, allows you to only attack once because you need to move once and then attack again instead of attacking twice if they were right next to you. But it didn't pay off very well in that particular situation. That's a crossbow. No, that is not a crossbow. It didn't pay off particularly well because uh, we killed we killed a lot. Uh, you have a shield and you are bad. I must murder the bad. Split that shield in the face. See, it doesn't matter what shield it, ha it has. They, they all break behind uh, in, with that weapon. So you're going to attack second. Uh, you are going to go over there and say hi to my uh, dear friend. That is interesting. But not a bad idea. That is a bad idea. So let's do another bad idea. Attack you. Um, rotate. Shield wall. Go over here. Shield wall. They don't like that. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm sending you back here. So what I want to have... I want to cover that guy... I will do shield wall again, because shield wall next to, uh, to other shield walls, I think it, it's better. Uh, like, I think it, it gets a buff every time. I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, didn't scare that one. Now here, oh, 92. There we go. That's what I was counting on, is being able to stun that guy, because that guy is a danger. Two-handed weapons in general, very dangerous. Uh, and uh, Mad Larkin just got hit in the face. Ooh, that was more than a hit in the face. Uh, so what do we want? We want to stop you. Mm -hmm. Shield walling, attacking and missing. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. So you both are going to flee anyway. So let's attack you so I can scare these guys. Of course, it didn't work that time. I was ready for that. Uh, let's see. Can't go around. Let's attack you nonetheless. Say hi to you. That's not too unreasonable. Can't do much from here, though. So I'll just say hi to him. See if we can get... Um... There we go. See if we can get uh, a kill with him, getting that experience. Okay. Okay, now you're afraid. You're not afraid. You're not even running away, which is interesting. Let's get you down here. Now I can't attack with you. Let's attack with you there while we can. Move you. I can't hit. I can't hit that guy. Not this turn. And then you get at 60. How much? What was the chance there? 69. Nice. 
Uh, so I don't know how the rolls work. 69% chance and you roll below that. Oh, I see what that means. Remember before when I was confused about the chances? Oh, I just need a bed. Oh, that bed turned out to be good. Remember before when I was confused and said the chances are the other way around? No, they're not. They work the other way around in other games where, you know, you, meet, you need... It's a difficulty rating kind of thing. But uh, not in this game. In this game, you're just rolling to hit the chance. And the chance is below, and you hit it. Or below or equal to, I suppose. So we got some money. We got uh, some medical supplies. All the good things in general. This is a pretty good haul. But the experience is really where it's all at. Because we have level ups. Uh, we have armor. We have helmets. We have armor over there. Hiccup. I tell you, coming up here is, is a good thing. It is a good thing. These things need to be repaired. And that needs to be repaired as well, I'm pretty sure, because I think it's... No, it's 180. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll sell that instead of repairing it. Um, good. Good, good. Oh, no. Wait. Not good. I need to level up. Rokutu over here. Getting is still brow, I think. Yeah. And let's look at his level. Ooh. That is a pretty one. Plus three on melee. We got some interesting things down here. We need that. Uh, do we need this? Yes, we do. Plus two is decent. Not ideal. But none. Nothing ever is in this game. Nothing ever is. But this is the end of the episode. So, uh, yeah. That's it. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy it. And um, I am f fumbling all my words uh, of my outro. Thank you. Bye.